Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. If you're curious about any other hero in Empires and Puzzles, you can view my website at anchorgame.com. There you will find I have graded every single hero with a calibrated team of graders. This resource will always be free. Thinking about supporting the hero grades in the breakdown videos? You're welcome to donate. Otherwise, feel free to share this resource with a friend. I have my exclusive line group called Anchor Cove, where you gain access to myself and tons of other experienced players with on-demand information and resources. If that piques your interest, all that information is on the opening page of my website with a short video. Hey, thank you so much for checking out the channel. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed to this channel as I'm doing daily content on Empires and Puzzles. I also do a lot of live streams that answer your questions, so it'd probably be beneficial if you checked out, subscribe to the channel. So when we're talking about the Green Titan, this is what we're looking for. You see this little icon up here? Shows you that it's green. So with green, you're going to want to make sure you always bring red fire heroes. Now when I build all of my titan teams, I always go from left to right. So that's how I'm going to go ahead and produce this content for you. Now there's a specific order on what you need to consider from going from left to right because there's five different heroes you can bring on a team. And my, the same type of heroes applies to every single titan. So the first titan hero that you're going to want elemental defensive down and what i mean by an elemental defensive down is there's certain heroes that are specifically strong against a certain color that's an elemental defensive down and what's important is that elemental defensive down heroes stack with regular defensive down heroes so when you're going against green titan there currently is only one elemental defensive down now what I will do is right now these are all the heroes that I have available that will work for Green Titans but I'm gonna go ahead and update the list I might not have video coverage for it but you can always check the video description and I will always update it with any heroes that fit into a specific slot or a specific segment of this Titan team configuration and you can always look at that at the video description so that way you always have up-to-date information so currently right now we only have one elemental defensive down hero, and that is Falcon. Falcon is absolutely amazing. The only issue is this Falcon is a four star, which makes him very fragile. So that slot is always designated to an elemental defensive down. Now, if you're like, hey, Anchor, I don't have Falcon. What do I do? Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to double up on the next one, which is the regular defensive down. The reason why elemental first is they have done the statistics and found that typically they're going to do more damage. The only exception to this rule is if the hero doesn't deal any damage before before the damage. Now, I know that it doesn't really make a lot of sense, but in this case, it is more beneficial to put Wilbur in the very first slot because Wilbur doesn't deal any damage and Falcon does deal damage. So in that case, there's more damage that's done. There's another situation where Cheshire Cat is in the same boat doesn't deal damage so you want to put that first but typically you're going to want to have your elemental defensive down first and then you go into the regular defensive down in this case if you're running with wilbur you're going to do wilbur first and then falcon if you don't have wilbur instead you're going to have your regular defensive down currently they only have two others that are in the red category you're going to want to use either gormek or santa gormek being a four star again very fragile Santa definitely has a lot more beefy, but he's running at slow speed. Next into our platform is always going to be kind of your attack power up or your critical chance hero. This works out really well too because you have the hero like Ares who is only surrounding heroes uh, and also Sir Lance a lot, which is also an attack power up hero. Uh, that also fits there too. A lot of times there was Bold Tusk that was being used. So what you would want to do again, Bold Tusk doesn't deal damage so bolt tusk would be first instead i know this sounds very kind of confusing but you want to build your hero stack team to where any ailments that don't deal damage you want them to be first and then you're going to want to have them to go to proceed and go on so if i didn't have aries my team would start off with bolt tusk potentially i did that for a long time and then it would roll into falcon and then it would roll into my regular defensive down but in this case, they have produced a lot more heroes that deal attack power up and also deal damage. So a big one on that is going to be Zimkitha. 
So Zimkitha also deals damage and also raises your attack power up, so that's why it's beneficial to have her in the third slot. But we also have Black Knight, which is absolutely a monster against Green Titans. That's another attack power up that makes it so A, your whole team survives, and B, it just it just skyrockets your attack power up. And then you could also potentially use Bolt Tusk costume. I don't really like Bolt Tusk costume versus Bolt Tusk on the green titans because bolt tusk uh has less attack power up and has more healing so the regular the big reason why you bring bolt tusk isn't for his healing it's mostly for having the attack power up now fourth into our hero selection is going to be what i consider high tile damage high impact heroes so you always want to have a hero that deals a lot of damage with the tiles. And what I mean by tile damage is always going to be the attack power. So that's right over there. So some very high end, high tile damage. So just so you know, attack power slash critical chance, the fourth slot, that can go back and forth. Like you can add some heroes. So say, say you don't have a high tile damage, but you've got them Keith and Black Knight. That could work. That'll work for you. But there's other heroes that do better because you want to increase the tile damage. Elena and Elena costume, those are amazing heroes for high tile damage. Also, Aslar and Aslar costume, again, amazing heroes for that. Baldur, brand new hero, also has really high attack power. That fits in there too. And some of the four stars that fit into this would be Scarlet as well and Sir Lancelot. So that could potentially help you out there too. Now I should also mention that if you are considering the fourth slot for the high tile damage, this might be the opportunity to where you can bring in a hero that you have emblemed up that is a five or a four star hero. Anything that has a really high attack power, this is the spot and this is where you would put that hero in. Now in the fifth slot, this one's super important. Uh, these heroes are typically going to go on just about every single Titan battle. So right now we have a little bit of an awkward sequence because you have it set up to where you don't really have strong overall attack, like increasing the attack exponentially through multiple colors. And this one here, you don't have a good red hero that gives you a major buff on attack power up. We're left to only use either a Miki Tarlac, Guardian Gazelle, Ranveer, or Wukong. So those, they're off color, obviously they're not red, um, but those are the heroes you're gonna wanna use. The reason why Miki's super good, it skyrockets your attack power, and it also stacks with attack power up heroes. Another one is Guardian Gazelle, which when you're using Guardian Gazelle, you have to also account for the fact that your heroes can't get buffs themselves. So I wouldn't use Guardian Gazelle plus Black Knight or Guardian Gazelle plus Wilbur potentially because you're not getting that benefit. So you gotta keep in mind, Guardian Gazelle is super cool and super awesome, but it also makes it so you can't add positive effects to your hero. Uh, another one which I personally use on every single Red Titan currently is Tarlac, which is super awkward. The increased stackable attack power up help a lot. And then you always have the random chance of missing which would come into play with Ranveer or Wukong. So those also fit in that spot. The reason why I have this at the very far stage is because I wanna make sure all my stacks go through and these abilities don't matter if they're first or they're last. But on the other side, they do matter if they're first or last the way that you build the team. Because if you have like your attack power up in the first slot, and then you run the elemental defensive down, you miss out on a lot of different damage right there. But, and then the other reason why I have all of these on the last slot is because with Ranveer and Wukong, you have a little bit of an issue to where they have the potential to miss. So you wanna make sure your elemental defensive down goes first, your attack power up and damage goes first. So you wanna make sure all that actually hits the Titan. And then you can go ahead and roll with having the uh, heroes make it so they could potentially miss on tiles. What's super important to understand is with Titan damage and attacking, it's not the actual damage that the heroes do. The way you get high scores on Titans is making it so that the tile damage, so the individual red tiles that hit on the Titan, deal a lot of damage. So you're gonna wanna build your sequence to get, as, get all of the buffs on the Titan and then you want to have it so that the damage from moving the actual tiles hits in the weak spot and deals a lot of damage. That's how you get very high scores consistently. 
Now in terms of items, I use the same items on every single Titan, just about every single Titan. Me personally, I don't go for, for wild crazy hits, I prefer to go ahead and have consistent hits. So I always start off with a turtle banner, or potentially a dragon banner if you'd like. That always goes in my first slot. So as soon as the board opens up, I go ahead, I see, can I give a weak spot, yes or no? I do that, and what that does is that pretty much allows my heroes to be hit twice before dying, which is important when you're attacking 14 star titans. Next, I always have my antidotes that are going to be in my next slot. If the enemy goes ahead and fires off any special, I pretty much always need an antidote. So that comes in on every single titan, it's just automatic, I just go ahead and I fire it. Next, I always have my, my generally my small healing potions, anything that's super small that I can do. These medium ones work really well because I can actually just, I can heal up a hero to full life twice in a battle, especially with the turtle banner up. And then after that, I always have my small mana potions in the last slot, and those do switch off with my harpoons if I need to throw harpoons for my team. The reason why I use such conservative items like this is because I can save items for the events and other important things like that. But this allows me to go ahead and constantly create consistent high attacking hits without you know, going through all of my items. So I know what you're thinking right now. You're like, hey, Anchor, I really appreciate it, but I don't have all these fancy five stars and four star heroes. So I also included kind of like the super budget heroes which these are three stars that I'd recommend continuing to collect and use. Uh, I know for a long time a lot of people use Barine and Barine Costume. The really cool thing about Barine and Barine Costume is you can use both of them. So if you have two Barine, you level up one to be a regular Barine, and then you level up the other one, you can use the other uh, Costume up Barine to also uh, work on your team as well too. Uh, also, Hawkmoon Costume fits in really well to fit kind of like the attack power also uh, raising up your um, your attack power. Now, if you're ever confused and you're wondering, you know, what other heroes I should use, you can also uh, just use more red heroes. Obviously, ideally, you know, to have the most optimal amount, you want to make it so you use red heroes that fit where they're at. But sometimes you're just going to have some awkward times to where you're not going to have the greatest ones. I would seriously focus on making sure that you get the elemental, the defensive down, those are super important. You want to make sure those are on everyone. And then you focus on the other heroes, other red heroes that you can bring into the Titan battle. So hopefully this video helps. It gives you an idea and a perspective. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and be on the lookout because I'm going to do every single Titan as well, breaking down every hero to bring on each individual Titan.